what's up guys fxp420 back here with another update video um i uh was waiting for a package that was supposed to come yesterday and it didn't end up showing up so um i'm gonna just do my cds in this update and i'll probably split it into two parts i'll do the vinyl another part or maybe just another update um hopefully it comes on monday or tuesday so I just got six CDs to show here, all new, new CDs. I think they're all new CDs, yeah. So let's just get into it. I would have waited, but I did tell Jason that I would do an update today. So this is for you, buddy. I don't want to let you down. Uh, the first is the Unincluded Hokey Fright. The, not the Unincluded Hokey Fright. I think it's the Unincluded. Anyway, uh, Aesop Rock, Kimmy Dawson. Sure, if you watch my channel, most of you have heard this album by now. Um, I really like it. I thought it was really dope. Uh, I picked this up on vinyl too, but I'll show that in the next part of the update. Um, yeah, if you haven't heard it, I don't know, it's not definitely not for everybody. Kimya Dawson has a really unique uh, voice and just style of singing. And uh, Aesop Rock was really good on it, though. I would definitely recommend at least checking it out and giving it a listen at least once. Next is uh, Jagger Jazzist with the Britain Symphonia, which is basically, uh, if you don't know who Jagger Jazzist is, they are a experimental jazz group from Norway. Um, they uh, put out a lot of stuff on Ninja Tune. And they have that kind of sound, electronic, uh, experimental jazz, experimental rock kind of sound. And this album is uh, with a chamber pop orchestra, or chamber orchestra. It's uh, really, I guess, a little bit different than their other stuff, but it's still really dope. It's definitely not going to be for everybody, but if you think you might be into something like that, definitely check this out. Uh, this might end up being one of my top albums of the year. Uh, all instrumental, but like I said, if you're into stuff like that, definitely give it a listen. I know it's not definitely not going to be for everybody, but I loved it. Next, we got Georgia Ann Muldrow and Dudley Perkins, otherwise known as Declaim. Lighthouse, uh, their newest album. Uh, husband and wife duo, if you didn't know. Uh, really cool uh, album artwork. I like that a lot. On the inside, too. Really cool. Yeah, um, if you don't know who they are, Georgia, uh, Georgia Ann Muldrow sings and Dudley Perkins raps. So, they do a lot of work together. Uh, pretty good. Pretty good. Not their best album, but definitely uh, definitely worth a listen, in my opinion. Next, the new AC Alone album, Leading It On Slick, out on... What record it was on? Deacon Records. Um, this couple little insert. Uh, this definitely. I was. I didn't. Wasn't sure what to think because AC Alone put out a lot of really hit and miss albums, especially his last few albums have really been a lot of misses for me. But this, he got back to doing hip hop for the most part and. Uh, I enjoyed it. It does have a couple features on here. Uh, Bionic, CeeLo, Daniel Merriweather, uh, you guys should know who that is, and Treasure Davis. Uh, the whole thing is produced by Bionic. Um, I don't know what to say about this. I enjoyed it. Not my favorite Ace Alone album, but definitely worth a listen. Sorry if it seems like I'm just kind of rushing through it. I just had a long day and I just want to get this done. Next up is, if I can get it out of the plastic, Ugly Heroes. Uh, this is Apollo Brown, Red Pill, and Verbal Kent out on Mellow Music Group. Um, if you don't know who Apollo Brown is, then I don't know what to tell you. <laughs> He's one of my favorite hip hop producers now since I've heard him. I don't really can't tell you when the first time I heard him was, but I've loved him ever since I've heard him. Um, Verbal Kent is an MC from Chicago. Uh, pretty good. I'm pretty sure I remember him from doing him, ah, excuse me, 
pretty sure I remember him from Mole Men, uh, Mole Men Records. I think he put out at least one record on Mole Men. And uh, I remember him from there. And Red Pill, I wasn't too familiar with, but he is an MC from Michigan. And a pretty dope album. I love the way it flows. I like the way Apollo Brown can, you know, make his, just makes beats, basically. And he can make it work for most MCs. Everyone I've heard rhyme on his beats, they don't sound bad. You know, he can craft a nice beat for basically everybody and make it work for their style. Um, pretty dope album. Pretty definitely, uh, definitely a solid release right here. Next and the last album is a DJ from New Zealand, P Money, with Gratitude. This was put out on Duck Down Records. Um, uh, DJ album, comp album, basically. Let me go through a track list, tell you who's on here. Uh, Sky Zoo and Havoc, M.O.P., Freddie Gibbs and Fashan, uh, Talib Kweli, Aradana, Blazon Maven, not too familiar with him, Monster G and Pat Div, Buckshot, Nicole Ray, Jamal Buford, Rock Marciano, and Peace. So uh, this was pretty good actually, I wasn't really sure what to expect because I wasn't too familiar with P-Money. I think I heard a couple beats from him in the past, but I wasn't really too familiar with him, but it was pretty decent. Definitely not my favorite release of the year, but um, pretty good stuff. Give it a listen. The highlights for me were probably the MOP track was pretty good. I enjoyed that. Um, Buckshot track was pretty good, Killuminati. Uh, the Rock Marcion track was dope. I enjoyed that one. So, yeah, I don't know. Give it a listen. So that's it for the CDs, guys. I'm um, sorry if we felt like I rushed through this, but like I said I'm just tired. A long day. So uh, I'll be back shortly, probably next week, with uh, my vinyl update. Maybe a couple more CDs. Um, yeah, so that's it. Thanks for watching, guys. Peace.